Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor today. I'm going to talk to you today about reversal of the certification if in fact your passport uh, was denied or suspended. Um, anyway, I'm a former IRS agent, teaching instructor with IRS. I worked at IRS for uh, 10 years. Uh, I was been in private practice for 40 years. I have been on the national news many times. I have a whole team of former IRS agents and attorneys on staff. Um, you can look at my website at 777irs.com and find out as much as you need to know about me. Anyway, um, many people who are looking at this have had their passport either suspended or denied because you owed over, at this point in time, $59,000. That changes depending on the inflation rate and the cost of living. This started out at $52,000 and it has made its, its way up. So. When the FAST Act came, it was a FAST Act. The IRS included this provision. I don't know why or how it got included, but if you owed over X amount of dollars, they were going to go ahead and basically suspend or deny your passport. So if you were going to try to renew your passport or you had to apply for a new passport for whatever reason, uh, and you found an, I, an IRS sent a notice to the State Department that you had serious debt, you weren't going to go ahead and get your, your passport until you went ahead and take care of your IRS problem. And some of you, if you're watching this video, you're hoping for that certification to come back, but you have to resolve your IRS problem. So as a former IRS agent, as a firm, we've done really many of these cases. And how this works is this. Um, IRS has to be called. They're going to want a financial statement. Uh, 433F, uh, if it's at the service center, which most are, unless a revenue officer has it, they'll want a financial statement. 433A, and with that financial statement, they're either going to put you into currently non-collectible or payment agreement or an offer and compromise. Your current financial statement will will dictate that. So uh, many of you are looking to either do this yourself or hire someone. Well, if you're looking to hire someone, we're experts. If you're looking to do this yourself, you must be familiar with the IRS financial statement. They're going to look at that form and they're going, I want to see if you can pay the tax in full. They're going to look at your assets. They're going to look at your income. And if you can pay it, they're not going to give you your passport back until you t uh, pay this in full. Now, some of you may not be able to pay any of this. And IRS can, if they look at your financial statement, put you into a currently non-collectible status. Um, sometimes the easiest way is to make a payment agreement, and if you do, then I, it all depends on the liability. Some of you can do it if it's a small liability, but for those of you who are larger liabilities, you're not going to be able to do that. You can make a payment agreement with IRS, but you may never, ever pay the tax off. As long as you make a payment agreement, you're in really good shape. You can try to go online if you want, make a payment agreement, but you're still going to have to call IRS so they can then notify the State Department. The other option is to file an offer and compromise uh, as to doubt as to collectability or doubt as to liability, but you have to know what that offer program is all about. Anyway, no matter what your case is, you have to go ahead and contact IRS. You have to give them a 433F financial statement if it's at the service center. And with that, they will put you in one of those three categories I talked about. The other thing is you're going to have to make sure all your tax returns are filed. And they're going to want to make sure you're current making estimate payments or withholding. Uh, just so you know, if you're trying to do this on your own, it's going to take much longer. If you have more imminent travel plans, it's best to call a professional to get this taken care of. My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent. Remember, there are three ways to get this back. Either put you in currently non-collectible payment agreement or offer and compromise. Give me a subscription if you would. I'd really appreciate it. We know what we're doing. We appreciate your business.